Hello everyone. So I hope everyone's doing well, having a good time. I have always been curious about what is inside one of these. Uh, and as you can see, I have been using this little drill here. So you ever wonder what's inside an over 100 year old padlock? Well, I can tell you, there's a lot of junk in here. I just drilled out the uh, the brass rivet heads, and then I just pulled this guy up, and what a mess. Here's a little barrel, and there is unknown stuff floating around in here. 100 year old unknown. These are very crusty levers here. Um... It could have really used a, a vinegar bath. I managed to not mess up the, the spike where it's it's holding the levers. It's really weird. I, I was trying to figure out how to tension this the bolt. And what I was finally doing... This one wasn't working because it was so gunky. But what I was finally doing was I, I got a, a tension wrench. And I went up in here. This is not the one. I got a thin one. I don't know where he's hiding. Anyways, I got him up there, and I was trying to lever up against uh, the bolt, which is back here. This is a little catch. Well, this is the whole part of the bolt right here. I was trying to get a hold of that and lever back like this. Um, but like I said, I had a tension wrench on this side. Of the lock and I was sticking it in there of course it didn't work you know because this thing's so gunky and the, the levers don't even want to move they're frozen well there you go barely but they're not moving independently see everybody's moving all together which is not a good thing because there's different cutouts in different areas on this this is a real lever lever lock um, and so what I was trying to do was, I was trying to tension the bolt from down here, getting this last lever. And I don't think that'll work. So this is the whole reason for me tearing this thing apart, was to, uh, I've got another one on order also. I mean, another old Miller exactly like this one, new champion and everything. So, and it doesn't have a key either. So when it comes in, I'll know to stick it in vinegar. Because I don't think any of this is pot metal. All this is brass. And uh, even the springs look like they're copper or bronze. So I think vinegar is going to be fine. I'm probably going to just drop this thing in vinegar for a little while. And let it soak for a day or two. And maybe free up that lever pack. Um... I'm still trying to figure out how the how I could tension the bolt. It's kind of like a mousetrap system. Look at all these different springs over here and levers. And... It's weird. I went on eBay, I mean on YouTube, and I was trying to f find videos of anybody getting inside one of these. Um, but nobody did, so what better way than to find out yourself? What a bunch of gunk. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of crap in here. No spiders so far. But when that lever cut pack gets it just right. Let's see, when you turn that way. What is it set up? A mousetrap system? What the hell? I'm just trying to figure out, ah, ah, this very back plate here that, yeah, that is the bolt. That, that's the thing that you've got to push up on. you got to push up on this guy. There's a little gap underneath here, underneath these. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's your six levers. And this very bottom thing is the bolt. But, man, how do you... Let's see if we can understand this concept here 
I don't have to worry about messing anything up because it's already taken apart. So. Yeah, I think vinegar bath is going to help. So this will probably be a, a continuation video, but I'm going to clean it up as much as I can. And then uh, once I take it out of the vinegar, I'll put some oil in here. And these levers should start operating independently and springing like they should. But I'm just trying to... Oh, and this guy goes over. Ah, I see, said the blind man. When this little latch comes... is allowed to recess back, it would lever this up I'm trying to figure this out yeah it levers that up and allows the shackle to be free I think it needs quite a bit of oil That's pushing down on the shackle. You're figuring this stuff out as I'm as I am right now, as I'm going along. I'm trying to figure it out. There's some kind of this is a pivot down here. The whole point of all this moving is to get this thing to come up. So there's probably a bypass. If you can get this whole thing to come up without this moving back. But does that move back? Oh, these guys go forward. That's what it is. See that little hump right there? And that little cutout? That aligns with that. And it allows you to pull this whole thing back. Uh-huh. Very interesting. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in. This whole thing is designed so that once you get these lined up, then this can go forward, not backwards, forward. When it goes forward all the way, it allows, with all these springs and everything, it allows this spring. Where am I? It allows this part right here to come forward and engage in this notch right there. And then you can pull everything back. But man, it had to have been one tough key and everything because with all this gunk in here, it would have broken off. But that's how that works. It has to go forward. And you can see there's so much gunk in here. These things haven't come forward and many decades right so i'll give him a little uh, vinegar bath and uh, try to get his levers back to working order and uh, you can still play with it you know i mean you just put the cover back on and put your little barrel piece wherever he ran away to well, he's down there put him back in there was a little curtain guy. That curtain caused a problem for picking too because uh, when I was trying to lever it and everything, this curtain had to be just right. And like I said, once I got lined up on these levers where I could see them, you can see where I've scraped on it and everything, I would try to push on them. And man, it's like an overlifter, but it's not good because. You've got to line up the teeth around there. You want them to go independent. Like this one's already lined up. He doesn't even have to be moved. But the, the ones underneath them should be moved without moving this one. So that's the whole purpose of them being independent and levering. And when they're one solid block like that, that means an overlifter probably wouldn't work unless you got the tension, unless you figure it out just right. I don't know. You'd have to talk to Andy Mack about overlifting and stuff, but... I'm a novice at this. And I'm going to give this guy a little vinegar bath for a day or so. And then uh, lube it up. And we'll get back to this little adventure. 
In the meantime, like I said, I've got another one coming in, but now I've got a much better idea of what goes on in these uh, little locks here. Get this light out of the way. Yeah, there's a lot of gunk. Like I said, there's a, a ton of gunk in there. But yeah, once I got the, once I drilled down the heads on the these rivets, I just stuck a screwdriver in between the seams and prize right up. So that's how you would have gotten into these guys. Well, it takes you. Well, you got six bolts. <laughs> you got six levers. You would have had six things that you would have had to drill or file down. I just, I think you, if you look at how they're done, they're just peened over. So if you would have had a, you know, some kind of power tool and enough time, even a regular file, if you would have taken a regular file, because these are just brass, it was really easy to drill through. Uh, and I went slow. So there we go. I hope everyone's having a good time and enjoying themselves. And uh, I'm still in Leverland.